Hello everyone, not long ago I have made a video to show you how to play movies and videos from USB key on your Roku TV. I had sent some comments asking me to show you how to add subtitles, thumbnails and how to create playlists for these videos that are on the USB key and that you're gonna play on your Roku TV. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to add subtitles to these videos, how to add thumbnails and how to create playlists. So let me show you all this. I'm going to switch to screen recording to show you what's on my USB key and how you can adjust it so that to do the things that I mentioned. So this here is the content of my USB key. So you see that I have two folders and I have already a playlist. I'm going to show you later on how I created this playlist. So let me show you now the videos that are in each folder and how I'm going to adjust the files in them so that the subtitles will work and the thumbnail will work. So let's go to Ubuntu first. So here I have the video, it is an MP4 video, and this is the subtitle I have. By the way, Roku can read VTT and SRT files for subtitles. So whether the file it is VTT or SRT, the instructions are exactly the same. And this here is a thumbnail for the file. Now if you put the USB key in your Roku TV like it is here, Roku will not be able to detect the subtitle file, and it will not also be able to display the thumbnail. So this is what you need to do. You need to make the subtitle file and the thumbnail name exactly as the video that you are playing. So here to do this, I'm going to edit the file name of this video. So just try to click on it and then choose show more options and then choose rename. And here right click the highlighted text and then choose copy. Go to the subtitle file. We need to rename it. So right click on it once again show more options and then rename and then paste the name of the video file in the subtitles file so right click and then choose paste and then hit enter on your keyboard and do the same for the thumbnail file so right click show more options rename and paste the name of the video in this file and hit enter so now when you play the video file on your Roku TV it will detect the subtitles and it will show also the thumbnail so let's do the same for the other folder. I'm going to do it quickly because I've already done it in Ubuntu. So now we prepare the video files to show subtitles and thumbnails. I'm going to show you how to create a playlist. I have used Notepad to edit the content of the playlist and you're going to see it is fairly simple to do it. And Roku also can read other playlist types, but here I'm going to show you the PLS type. So this is a file. I'm going to right click on it. And then I'm going to choose open with and I'm going to choose notepad. So this is a playlist and it has entries. Always start the playlist with the word playlist between brackets and always put an empty line between the playlist and the first file to play. And then you need to put file one equal and you put the path. So here the playlist, it is in the root folder of the USB key and the path is slash Ubuntu and slash the name of the file. And the second line for the file one, it can be the title. It is optional, but I chose to put it here. It is better this way. And for file 2, it is the same thing. So I put slash windows and then the name of the file exactly. And then the title. And here at the end of the playlist, you need to put the number of entries so that the playlist can know how many files it should display. And the version entry should always be 2. So this is something that the playlist syntax should be like this. So let me add another entry here for you to see how to add it. So I'm going to name it file 3 and I'm going to put equals and I'm going to put the video file in the root folder of the USB key. So this way you can see the different paths and the playlist how to put them. So I'm going to put this video file here. So now we need to copy the file name and put it here. So let me copy it. And it's very important to include the extension with the file name. So if your Windows PC doesn't show you the extension, either add it manually or go to view here and then click on show and then click on file name extensions this way you can see the extension of the file so let's go back here and copy the file name with the extension and because the file is on the root folder i need to precede it with a slash so i'm gonna put a slash and then pass the file name and then let's open a new line and then here let's put title three equals and give the video any title you want. So here I'm going to put it connect to USB from internet. And here you need to adjust the number of entries to make it three because now we have three entries. So let's save the file. 
So now let's take the USB key and head to our Roku TV to play it. Now I inserted the USB key in my Roku TV. I'm gonna go to Roku Media Player. And here let's choose video and choose the USB key. And you notice that everything in the USB key appears here. So this is a video on the root folder. It doesn't have a thumbnail because I didn't put a thumbnail to it. And also it doesn't have subtitles. So these are the two videos in the Ubuntu and Windows folders that have subtitles. So you see here how the thumbnail appears, which is very nice. And this one too. So let me show you now how when I play a file, the subtitles will appear. So let me go to Windows and let's play this file. So now if you don't see the subtitles, you need to enable them on your Roku TV. Press star on your Roku remote control, choose accessibility and captions. Go to closed captioning and change it here to on always. And you notice that now you see the subtitles on your screen. So let me show you now the playlist, how it will play. Let's go to the playlist. And now you can play the playlist by choosing a video in it. So now the files will play one after the other. Let me fast forward this one to the end to show you how the next one will play. and see how the next video played automatically because they are in a playlist. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments section below and I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions and all your comments. I hope that this video was useful to you. In case it was, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and this way you'll not miss my future videos. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.